Hi, I am Apoor Bapat, working with Altair Engineering. Uh, today in this video, I am going to cover how to generate auto mesh, how to generate 2D mesh using auto mesh panel available in Hypermesh. Hypermesh comes under the suit of uh, Altair Hyperworks. So, we'll, in this video, uh, we are going to learn that how to uh, mesh all the surface at once, specifying different element size and element types then practice changing the element density along the surface edge then we will see how to preview the mesh on all the unmeshed surfaces and then see the practice changing the element type and node spacing that is biasing along the surface edge lastly we will see how to remesh the surfaces so we will start with uh, the tutorial so first of all select the user profile as radius then to open a file in hypermesh click on open folder select the file from the location so your file has been loaded in hypermesh GUI to view the surfaces of the geometry click on the shaded geometry icon so the surfaces can be viewed if you want to view the colors of the edges that is uh, whether these edges are uh, shared edge or which edge are free edges so you go to auto and say mixed so once you click on mix you will find that the green edge represents the shared edges as well as red edge uh, represents the uh, edges having a single surfaces so we'll start our tutorial with uh, previewing the geometry as you can see there are different surfaces available in this geometry you can use different panels available in hypermesh to preview the geometry first that is ro rotate zoom pan so take off two minute time to preview the geometry then we will move to move with the first topic that is we will see how to mesh all the parts of the surfaces at once using an element size of 4 and element type as mixed in mixed means it will in this we will create a chord and triangular elements both so to create a 2d element using auto mesh panel go to 2d page in 2d page select auto mesh panel click on the auto mesh panel once you enter the auto mesh panel make sure you are on size and bias radio button then click on the surfaces once you click on the surfaces select all so the all the surfaces get selected then make sure the radio the toggle option is set to interactive interactive and automatic are two toggle options are available in automatic uh, the mesh will generate it uh, without going to mesh edit panel and in interactive it will uh, direct you towards the mesh edit panel in which you can change the element type size of the element biasing factors and also check the quality of the element but in automatic uh, option is if the automatic option is on then you cannot change the element density type of element and biasing factor so set this option to interactive now enter the element size here as 4 and select the mesh type as mixed so in this way there are different mesh types are available that is chord, trias, chord will generate the chord mesh, trias will generate the triangular meshing, mix will generate the combination of both chord and tria mesh then R triad is right triangular uh, elements and uh, chords only will generate a pure chord elements so we'll select mixed here then make sure that the toggle option is set to element to surface component element to surface component toggle will uh, ask the system to uh, generate the mesh and transfer it to the component on which the surface is there then uh, toggle this option to first order uh, the first order means there are two different options are available to generate a mesh that is first order 
chord elements and second order chord elements or first order triangle elements and second order triangle elements in first order there are four node the chord in first order chord element it has a four noded chord element uh, I, but in second order chord element it has an eight noded that is the four nodes are in midpoint of the sides of the quad element same as in triangle so the type of elements you want to create either first or second you can select it from here similarly for this it has a three noted then keep the option as keep connectivity this option will connect the different el uh, element generated across the surfaces and then click on mesh this option is used to generate the mesh so click on mesh once you click on mesh your meshing will get generated so you can see that this is the meshing which is generated by auto mesh panel at once picking all the surfaces selecting the element densities so we'll say return and accept this once you click return it will accept this meshing from the model browser if you of the surfaces you can view the these are the only elements okay so now we'll move to the next topic that generate the in this we will generate the mesh on the top surfaces and then uh, we'll change the density mesh type and then apply the biasing factor in on that particular surfaces so first of all I want to delete this existing mesh to generate a new mesh on top surfaces so to delete the existing mesh I will go to delete panel or you can press F2 from your keyboard this is the short key of uh, to delete op to enter to delete option so I'll click on this icon this icon is used to delete panel select from the drop down select elements click on the elements and say all so it will select all the elements which has been generated and click on delete once you click on delete it will delete all the elements then click on return to exit the delete panel then again go to 2d in 2d select auto mesh to enter to auto mesh panel and then instead of clicking on surface and picking as a all select the top surface and click on mesh once you click on mesh you will go to mesh edit it will direct you to mesh edit panel so in mesh edit panel first option is available as density so in density you can change the density of the elements along the edges by having it has a three option that first one is adjust by edge that is by if you click on the edge particularly it will change the number of elements on that particular edge you can also uh, change the element density by changing the element size also you can set the element density to a particular value so I will show you one by one so if you select this option and if you left click on the number it will increase the number of nodes that is elements along that particular edge you can see once you select the number of nodes or edited the number of nodes on the particular element it will change and then if you right click on it, it will it will decrease the number of elements on that particular edge then once you're done with this click on mesh to accept this meshing so in this way you can see I have changed the elements along the the surfaces by changing the density along the edges then you can change the element number of elements by changing the size of the element previously we are done with uh, element size of 4 now we will change the element size to 10 and say recalculate all so it will calculate to all the surfaces and say mesh so you can see the meshing is done by an element size of 10 also you can change the element density say 50 for a particular edge so if you click on the edge it will select 50 elements on that particular edge so in this way it changes the element density there are these three options are available 
so I will again make this to an element size of 4 then we will move to a next panel that is mesh style there are also three options available in mesh style panel that is uh, first is element type so you can change the element type from here itself this is the most used option available in hyper mesh then first of all you can select chord and say set to all and say mesh so it will generate a chord mesh if you select tria select set to all and say mesh it will generate a triangular elements if you select mixed and say set to all it will generate a mixed meshing that is having a chord and tria elements if you generate R trias, say set to all and mesh, it will generate R trias elements. If you select chord only, set to all and say mesh, so it will generate a pure chord elements. So in this way you can change the mesh style, type of elements uh, from this panel. Then we will go to biasing panel, the next option available in mesh edit. Biasing uh, panel is used to generate a, a node spacing between the along the edge of the element. This will help us to simulate the uh, model uh, with the same number of nodes but higher accuracy you can use biasing factor to increase the density of the elements along the particular zone so that the stress values on the particular zone will get accurate or will increase and the rest of the portion where are, there is no stress and displacement so you can change it so just click on the edge adjust edge and if you left click on it and scroll the mouse up it will increase the number of biasing factor or there is another option that is biasing intensity if you change this intensity click on this edge so it will select the biasing intensity then if you say mesh so you can see along this side the mesh density is more as compared to the other side so in this way you can change the biasing intensity so these are the different options available in mesh edit panel so I will click return to accept this meshing again uh, before going to the next uh, panel that is how, how to find the unmeshed surfaces using auto mesh panel you can do that I have done the meshing of this particular panel so if I return and I got a mesh model that in this in which some of the surfaces are meshed so to find out that unmeshed surfaces and do the meshing on that particular surfaces you have uh, one option available in uh, 2d auto mesh panel which automatically finds the unmeshed surfaces and will generate the meshing on that so go to 2d auto mesh panel once you enter to auto mesh panel click on unmeshed icon once you click on unmeshed icon it will highlight all the surfaces which is uh, in which there is no meshing available so it will select all the surfaces and once you select all the surfaces click on mesh so in this way it will generate the meshing okay so click return to accept this meshing then we'll move to the next topic that is how to do now we will move to the next and the last topic of this video that is how to do remesh the already mesh model so in this as you can see this is the already mesh model available in hypermesh so if you want to remesh this particular model instead of surfaces from this drop box in this drop box instead of clicking on surfaces select elements make sure uh, you are on element size and element uh, size and bias panel select uh, the connected features and interactive options should be on then click on the elements and say all it will select all the elements select the element size if you want you can change the element size to 3 select the element mesh type say I will select the mesh type as R 
keep the elements to original component select the first order make sure it's the keep connectivity option is on and say mesh once you click on mesh it will generate it will remesh the existing meshing and the existing mesh will get deleted and new mesh will will be generated and it will also divert you to the element density option or elements addition option so you can edit the elements that is change the density change the mesh style change the biasing if once your uh, mesh addition is done click on return to accept this meshing if you off the surfaces you can view in this method the meshing has been generated so in this video uh, if I want to summarize that so in this video we have seen how to uh, mesh all the surfaces at once specifying different element size and element types then practice changing the element density along the surface edges also we have seen how to preview the mesh on all the unmeshed surfaces and change the element type and node spacing that is biasing along the surface edges also we have seen how to do remeshing so in this way we have ended with this video thank you very much